Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Here I have OBD2 interface ELM327. I got it off Amazon, I believe. I didn't pay much, no more than 20 bucks. I don't recall now, I've had it for a very long time. But what I'm gonna show you today is actually an app called Carista, if I'm saying that right. I'll go to my phone here. Right there. Carista. And right now I don't have a plugged in, but it's an app that lets you uh, check faults or do customization programs. If your vehicle supported, they don't yet support uh, a bunch of vehicles. Like my Jeep's not supported, my wife's uh, Volvo's not supported. But I like it because it checks faults. Now I know what you're going to say. Well, there's an app called Torque. And that check faults. I have never had Torque be able to clear a fault. Now, I don't unfortunately have any faults right now, but I just want to really show you this app. So I'm going to come back here in a minute, plug this in, and uh, show you the app. Okay, guys, and the 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. Uh, this is the 5.7 liter. OBD2 is right down there. You can just plug in. There's nothing in the way. So you plug in that device, you open Carista, obviously you hook it all up with the Bluetooth, with your phone, and you want to check faults, click on faults. And it goes through its little meter, you know, percentage. And I actually do have a stored uh, fault. I forgot I had this before. I haven't thrown a code in a, in a while, but I was I was getting this P0300 uh, random multi-cylinder misfire. And let's see, can I click that? Yep, I can click that. It opens up Google. And right here. You know, you can look up the codes. That loads another page. And what does this mean? And it talks about it. Not all cylinders firing properly. I haven't thrown the code on the dash. I know this is a stored code that I got before. I probably need new uh spark plug wires but it's cool that I still have this code in here you can email it to you I could share it on Facebook if I wanted um, I guess emission test is new and I guess this is all the stuff here blah 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 uh, receipt I can reset the OBD2 your engine is running, please turn it off, but leave the ignition on and try again. Okay, so it doesn't want it on at this point. Just wants it on accessory. So I'll say try again. Fault codes have been reset. Say okay. I'll start. Let it do its thing. Now you might ask me, Mark, why, why wouldn't I just use the app Torque? Well, Torque has never ever cleared a fault for me, at least their free version, so I, I thus refuse to pay for it. Still says it's there, so maybe I am getting it, but it's not serious enough to throw a code, I don't know, really don't know, but I'm not going to really worry about it right now. And. Yeah, so back to Torque. You might say, well, why don't you just uh, use Torque? Well, it's never worked for me, so I poo-pooed it, and I'm not going to use it. I found this one. It's free. Again, it's in the Play Store, Carista, and you can do customizations. It's 
gonna it's gonna see if they have any. I already know they don't unless they update it since I last checked. Um, but you can do like performance updates and stuff if your car's supported. See, here's ver various ve vehicles. Don't have a Bentley, unfortunately. Don't have a Buick. Don't have a Chrysler. Don't have Jeep. Is not. Oh, maybe they do. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they've done updates. Okay. Unfortunately, your vehicle's not supported for customization. Okay. Just what I thought, because I looked it up. <laughs> and it tells you about it. you pay You pay for the customization? I would gladly pay for a customization, because this app actually, like I said, works. What it is not... It's not like Torque where it's going to have the, where you can set it up to monitor the various things. That is not what this app is. This app is an awesome free app for checking your faults, clearing your faults, and then where they want to make their money is selling you customization, which I would, I would be happy of buying. I wish they actually had one. I mean, being that this has the Hemi, I would think they would have some customizations. I don't know how much they cost unfortunately um but you know i i would definitely consider buying a customization i would have thought it going through this percentage thing it would have known what my vehicle was and stuff and looked it up <laughs> i mean let's say if i had a bmw i don't know let's say 2013 no not supported either support section of 2005 and newer models what i did says Audi, BMW, Lexus, Mini, Scion, Skoda, Seat, Toyota, and Volkswagen. Yeah, so. But they do respond to you, and they have said they are expanding as quickly as they can their customization. So we'll see down the road, but by then I probably won't have this vehicle. It's already 15 years old. No, 10 years old. So, yeah, we'll see. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.